Okay guys, this is it, the Ruby mid-season finale. Hi guys, my name is Maria Park and this is Approach to Nerd and in this episode we are reviewing volume 8, episode 7 of Ruby entitled War. Oh, I took a lot of notes guys, lots of notes because it's just, this episode was very, very cool and many things to unpack and I probably missed a lot of it. <laughs> Um, so the episode starts off, we have the Atlas military, they're attempting to hold off Salem's Grim Army. Um, it gave me serious Star Wars vibes, guys, like the whole artwork, the placement of the Grim and the Atlas military, freaking cool. Um, Ironwood is calmly losing his shit. Um, he ordered all citizens to be evacuated to subway stations and dispatches the Mantis Squad Omega. Um, we've also learned that generators for Atlas are too damaged to fix the shields and that the bombs and missiles the military is using against Monstra are doing nothing, which is kind of a no-brainer. Um, Winter and the rest of the ace operatives have Team Yang aboard their ship as prisoners. Um, Ironwood orders them to drop a bomb that he is sending to them inside Monstra, which kind of sounds like a suicide mission to me, but, you know, Ironwood has been making very interesting problematic choices this season and most seasons so especially this season he mean he assassinated a board member so he's out of his damn mind um apes ops of course headed by winter agrees to do it even though oscar is inside monstra and they refuse to believe team yang when they say that a grim was smart enough to take oscar prisoner um, team Yang then volunteer to go before Winter and her team to scout inside Monstra, basically to find Oscar. Um, Winter agrees to let them try, but warns that if they are not out in time, then they are pretty much SOL because they're going to drop the bomb anyway. Um, before they leave, though, Ren uses his semblance to see every member of Ace Ops, and he realizes that all of them who are basically saying, we don't really, you know, care about each other. We don't put our life, you know, one life is not, you know, worth the team and many and blah, 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 blah. And he's like, yeah, you all are a bunch of liars. He's like, you actually care about each other a lot. You're full of crap. And he especially, he calls out Harriet, especially saying, and you, you are a biggest liar, basically, because you are so angry about what happened with Clover. And, you know, it just sets everybody on, you know, Team A's ops um, on a fury. Like, they're all ready to hit him. <laughs> and of course, Winter intervenes. Um, and it's interesting that he even looks at Winter and says, you know, and you don't even want to be here, basically. You know, you don't want to do this anymore. So there's a lot of division. And I think it's interesting because there's a lot of division across the board. Like we already saw a fight or kind of a disagreement between Ruby and Yang, uh, between Ren and Nora. I mean, there's so, there's so many teams that aren't getting along right now. So I just think it's interesting that, of course, within, you know, the ace operatives, it's the same. So I, I do like that this episode was shining a light on a lot of things. Um, but yeah, and I, I love the visual of Ren. And we look at Ren's uh, semblance, like all the pretty petals, different colored petals of people when um, they're lying. <laughs> like basically, um, how they really are feeling, basically. So I, I, I always love when they specify or they show us Ren's powers. It's just very pretty. Um, so, 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 so. I was very shocked to learn that Harriet gives a crap about anyone. I know, I know in my last three reviews, I made it very clear that I don't like Harriet. Yeah, and I still don't. So <laughs> it was a moment of, of gratification for me when Winter agrees to Team Yang scouting ahead on Monstra to try and save Oscar. And of course, Harriet saying, but they're fugitives, me, 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 with her, oh, her voice. And Winter turns around and says, I outrank you. And I'm like, Winter is my queen. <laughs> like, tell that bitch to sit down and shut up i am still pro harriet being the sacrifice of ruby volume eight i'm completely down with that i want her to face off with cinder and maybe they just take each other out um <laughs> now not much is seen in this episode of salem except for this really pretty like the artwork is beautiful she's like it's a scene where she's conducting the grim like an orchestra um, the art is pretty. The music is pretty. Very, very pretty. It kind of shows you just how badass Salem thinks she is because she's like orchestrating everything. I, I love it. I think it's awesome. 
Um, and Oscar's plan, um, I believe it was the last episode of the, of the episode before, um, his plan was to cause division amongst Salem's lackeys. And it pretty much is working. So not only is Oscar getting to Hazel by saying, you know, Salem just wants to kill everything. You know, she wants to end the world and you're basically helping her. Um, we also see that Emerald is eavesdropping on Ozma and um, Hazel's conversation before he turns back to Oscar. Um, and so she overhears all of this stuff through the door. And so she goes and tells Mercury, you know, hey, I think Salem wants to kill everything, like all of us. She wants to end it all. And he, of course, he's like, oh, you're crazy. Salem was, doesn't want to do that. And I got to go on my mission because, you know, nobody wants to stand against, you know, Salem. I mean, look at Hazel. He killed her how many times? He just kept getting back up. So, I mean, he pretty much joined forces. So why would we not, stay, you know, do what Salem says? We're not strong enough to take her. And he's like, by the way, Salem would never end the world. And then you have Tyrion coming around the corner saying, oh, yeah, she's going to blow all this shit up. She's chaos. She wants everything to die. <laughs> like, and I love loved the look um, when he's dragging he dragged Mercury to the ship because they're going on the mission that Salem sent them on and then he locks eyes with Emerald and he does kind of like a slight nod and to me that is that nod was like all right don't worry about this this is not going down so I don't know what's going to happen with Tyrion and Mercury but I think Mercury might try to take Tyrion out I don't know that's just what I'm reading into it but we won't know till February because that's when the new episodes come back but that whole exchange between Emerald and Mercury was interesting um, back with Team Ruby they are not doing very well Norma is semi-conscious she said poor thing she's like what good am I now and I'm like oh you're breaking my heart um, and pretty much everyone's trying to figure out how to get her a doctor what they're going to do because I mean Salem's army's in Atlas and it's only a matter of time before they're at Weiss's family or the Snee Manor's, you know, doorstep. Um, and so they're all trying to figure out, well, what do we do? You know, are we going to wait for people? Because we got the message out. Amity Tower got the message out. Do we wait for people to show up? If they show up, do we go out and fight? We're outnumbered. We're going to die. <laughs> you know, what do we do? Um, and May Marigold's like, well, we should go back to Mantle because Atlas has an army and Mantle only has us. But Weiss is like, no, we need to stay in Atlas. So of course they start arguing and, you know, Weiss asks about May's family, you know, being there and she's like, oh, well, we don't bring them up. <laughs> you know, and she's like, I don't have any family. Basically my family's in Mantle. And she's like, just how you have Whitley. I love how they were calling each other's families out, which is kind of true in a way. Um, but Whitley surprises everyone, including me by calling Klein to take care of Nora because Nora needed a doctor. And when Klein shows up and says, thank you, Master you know, Whitley, you know, Whitley for calling me, and Weiss is like, you called Klein? And he's like, I did it for because she needs a doctor, not for you. And Weiss is like, and that's why I love it, you know, basically. And she, she, gets like, she goes and hugs him, and he does not refuse the hug. He actually hugs her back. So I'm like, I don't know, a moment, uh, maybe a breakthrough between these crazy siblings. I don't know. I'm hoping that's what's going on. But I loved it. So more Weiss and Whitley making up because at the end of the day, I mean, with a father like theirs, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Whitley should probably get a redemption arc. He's only doing what they'll, he's junior. He was doing what daddy told him to do. So hopefully, hopefully this is a new path for Whitley. Hopefully. Um, but through the arguing on um, whether they should go to Mantle or whether they should stay in Atlas, Ruby's like, no, we're going to help everyone. So right when she said that, they hear another boom, you know, bang outside. So of course, Weiss is like, Willie, did you call somebody else? And they run out there and inside of a crater is Penny. And Penny is like reaching out to them saying, I'm sorry. And she's like all damaged. You see like this green liquid that looks like, you know, basically her version of blood everywhere. And then she kind of shuts down, which is, you know, Penny's version of passing out. Um, so that episode, <laughs> loved it. I loved that when Hazel was talking to Osmond and then he turned back to Oscar and Oscar gave him Jen's name as the password. And Hazel says, so you, you know, now you're talking, now you're giving us a password after he basically told, you know, him he didn't trust him. Hazel, Hazel's like, I don't trust you. That's what I learned from my, you know, Gretchen's death. Um, and he's like, well, no, I'm not giving it to Salem. I'm giving it to you in the hopes that you want to find out the truth for yourself. So I'm like, oh, it's getting good because <laughs> I think Hazel's going to do it. <laughs> I do. If Hazel doesn't do it, then Emerald might do it because she overheard it. So that should be interesting. 
Um, we did not see Cinder at all, but we know that she's probably heading back to Weiss's house to get Penny because she's looks. They're trying to find Penny, so she's looking for Penny. So I think there's going to be a Cinder versus Team Ruby showdown pretty soon. Um, I love that we got May um, talking about her transgendered identity for a minute because she is transgender. I think she's the only transgender character, if I remember, in all of Ruby. Um, and someone who's married to a transgendered person. I love the representation, especially in this cartoon, even though it's very, you know, low key and vague, you know, that May is transgendered. And she even says, um, when Weiss questions about her family, she's like, um, I was basically no longer their son in their eyes, and I made certain that I was not their daughter. And I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> I was really down for that. So um, I was excited to see that added to the episode. And like I said, there was so much to unpack in this episode. There's so much to unpack. Blake um, basically worried about Yang. She's worried about the team and all the grim and the military not being able to hold them off. But she, that whole that whole thing where she goes to the window, that's definitely her worried about Yang. So I thought that was cute. Um, it's just, it's little, little things in this episode that I, I try and get that are like little indications of what everyone's feeling. Even with Ren, when Ren looks down and he sees like the pink petals, I keep thinking that, that was basically him. When he says nobody is replaceable, thinking about Nora. So, you know, he's missing Nora and she's irreplaceable, which is interesting and ironic because right now Nora doesn't think she's good for anything or anybody. So they, they need each other badly. Um, and I don't know when they're going to get together and she's not doing well. And I'm hoping that Klein can help her, but at least Nora is semi-conscious and she's talking a little, so that is a good sign, but I don't know how effective she will be in battle because she, yeah, she took a hit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so much. Um, Winter, I know, is about to trade. She's about to go to the other side because her hand was shaking when she was even given the order to take the bomb inside of, of Monstra and essentially, you know, killing everyone in it, including Oscar. You know, she, you can tell, you can see it. But she's got that pride. She's got her pride. So she, she's fiercely loyal. But at the same time, she knows. When, when, when she saw... Iron would lose his crap and shoot the board member. There's no way that did not do something. So, yeah. I'm, I'm very curious to see what happens with Winter in the next episode because I feel like the next episode, like episodes eight and nine when it comes back in February will be like the linchpin on a lot of relationships in this series. And I am so excited for it. But yeah, the battles are cool. Um, the, the, the citizens being evacuated, the scene with the father and the daughter, and you're seeing the Grimm, and you're seeing all the ships come through. I mean, that, that stuff, the artwork is gorgeous in this episode. I am very excited. So I'm sure I missed something because there were so many things going on. So guys, if you watched this episode and you found something that I didn't talk about, let's talk about it in the comments because, again, Episode seven was really freaking cool. It's probably my favorite episode this entire season so far. So our volume, should I say. So let me know what you think. Let's talk about it. And if you would like to sign up for jury duty, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to know who's next on the nerd ballot, hit the notification bell. Until next time, I can't wait for you to approach the nerd. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. But hey, the party doesn't have to stop now. Click on one of these videos and keep it going.